Hey, what's going on YouTube? I got another really cool one for you. Um, if I can get this in the shot. Bam, looks pretty good, right? Now I know that's not a specific logo of Fender that they would use on a headstock, but that's just the one that I chose. And I'm gonna show you how you can make this in the most simplest of ways, simpler than just about any other way um, that I've seen headstock logos made or water slides or whatever you want to call them. It's as simple as this. Printed this off on a standard printer. There we go. Simply cut it out a little bit so it's easier to work with. And all you do is you get yourself a bucket, little bowl, room temperature water, packaging tape. And you're gonna wanna pull off just enough to cover whatever it is you're using as your headstock logo. All right, I pulled out my stool so I had a nice flat surface to put the tape down on. And tape is simply going right over top. Just like that. Now I like to take the edge of my scissors and rub it on. That way you're making sure that all of the ink is touching the tape. And you'll see it happen as you're scraping it. The letters will get more defined I'm probably going a little bit overboard, but I really want to make sure it's on there. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, and that's it. I don't know if I can get it in the light. There you go. See the shine of the tape where it's at? And I'm simply going to cut out around the logo. Clean up the bottom here a little bit. There it is. All I'm going to do is drop it in my room temperature water. I like to move it around a little bit at first while the paper is initially soaking up some of the water just because it likes to float back to the surface. But if you kind of hold it down for a second and let it get saturated, it tends to stay under the water as it floats right to the surface, maybe not. Um, but anyways, you wanna leave it in there. Uh, it definitely depends on the size piece you're using and obviously the thickness of your paper, but for standard eight by 11 printer paper, which is what I'm using, uh, I'm gonna leave it in there anywhere between three minutes and I'd say five minutes. Um, you can rub the paper off sooner than that but I've found that if you start rubbing the paper a little bit too soon, you tend to take away some of the glue from the back of the tape. So I like to wait a little bit longer until that paper is really ready to just slide right off. So, I will see you guys in about five minutes. All right, it's been about three, three and a half minutes, so I'm gonna give it a test. All I'm gonna do is lightly roll my thumb in circles across the paper and you'll start to feel it wrinkle up. And you, like I was saying before, you don't wanna to rub too hard because you don't want to 
ruin the glue from the back of the tape. All you're trying to do is lightly roll the paper off of the back of it. And you don't have to worry about the ink either. You'll ruin, <coughs> excuse me, you'll ruin the glue on the back of the tape before you mess up the ink. I don't know if that's starting to show. I'll do a little, see how that's starting to peel away there? And that's just lightly rolling it. And eventually you'll get a little spot started where you can almost just roll it right off the whole thing in one pass. I'll come up here and show you what's going on here. I got it to a little point where I can just roll it right off the tape. Just like that. But there's a little bit of film left from the paper, so I'm going to go in and clean that off. Just so it's really nice and crisp looking. And you'll know when you've got all the paper off of it because as you're rolling it, or I should say as you're kind of rubbing your thumb across it, it'll stop feeling gritty. Like you'll tell when the paper comes up, even a little microscopic little amount of it because it feels kind of gritty, kind of like sand. So there it is. Now all I have to do is stick it to the headstock of the guitar. Move the camera over. Now with my headstock logo ready to go, find a place that I like it on the guitar. Just like so. And once it's on, just dab the water away off the top of it. The nice thing about making a headstock logo like this is that the ink is on the underside of the tape. So there's really no worry of scratching the headstock logo that you just made. Even if you don't clear coat over it, it's still nice and protected. And that's it. Just like that. can't even see the edge of where I cut it at. And now there is a little bit of moisture still underneath the tape. And after about four hours of, of dry time, roughly, depending on, you know, if you have AC in your house, which I do, so it's pretty dry in here. After about four hours, I can go back and push down on it and it'll, it'll look even clearer. So that's it, as simple as that. Simply print off whatever you want on your printer, put a piece of packaging tape over the top of it, rub it down in so that the image is good and on to the tape, cut it out, put it in a bowl of room temperature water, let it sit for about three to five minutes. Uh, yeah, roll the paper off the back, stick it down, wipe the water away just like that. The easiest headstock logo you will ever make. Cool. I hope you guys uh, appreciated that little tip and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Stay guitarded.